Hi, good morning. Today we are about to do something that we've been saying that we would do for a couple years now and never did. I've had a few friends in the past ask me to redecorate their house or decorate it from scratch, which is just as flattering as it is daunting because that's so much pressure. But today we're gonna do that. I bet you some of the people actually wanted that and it just didn't line up and then I bet some people were just trying to be nice. In this case, maybe it's both. My friend Gabby Hanna just got a new house. Well, not just. It's been a while. Listen, we're all busy. We're getting around to it. Gabby bought a house recently and I am going to decorate the dining room of it. This is what it looks like currently. Last month we did measurements, which I don't have. Ooh, I will do that. I'll get a heavy duty measuring tape because if you know anything about Gabby, she loves little trinkets and she loves little animal things. So if I didn't bring this, I might have to just like reuse like a giraffe ruler until I get the whole dimension, which is something to remember. This is also what's hard about decorating other people's spaces is if they don't have the exact same taste as you, they might hate what you did and then you'll hate yourself for making them hate what you did and it's just a bad cycle. Do I need anything else? Probably. I also stayed up really late last night making a slideshow for no good reason. Initially it was gonna be a big old joke to like present to her what I think that her dining room should be and then it started to get fun. And then I found myself in doing a Google slide PowerPoint. I guess I am too type A for my own good, but guess what? It also is gonna really help. I hope she likes it. But I guess that's why we're doing this before. But now we are prepared. We have our slideshow. Oh, I wonder if I could put it on our TV. Is that ridiculous? Yes. Okay, folks, let's go decorate a house. Okay, here's what happened at Gabby's house all in 30 seconds. This is what looks like a greeting, but was actually filmed afterwards because we forgot. But how good does it look here in the beginning? Then Gabby asked me this important question. Did you make me a PowerPoint presentation? And here's my PowerPoint. Then I completely rerouted the conversation. There should just be a tour of like animal centric things yes. in your house. Look at all these animals. This is quirky. Then I somehow managed to bring this up because I always do. Do you like Willy Wonka? Have we ever talked about this? And then I almost died falling off this chair, but the good news is we made some great decisions and unsurprisingly, we've caught up with me back at a Home Goods in the candle section. I'm so very tired. I just went to Home Goods, bought pretty much all of their inventory and I dragged this all the way to where the wheels don't turn anymore. The wheels are locked. Uh-oh, it doesn't go backwards or forwards. And now we're stuck. I completely forgot that I had gotten anything previously. So now I may have too many decorations, but if it doesn't work out, I will just Venmo Gabby because these are actually really cute. I am jealous and I wish I had them for myself, which means I like it and I believe in it. We're back from stop number one. I'm kind of running around because Gabby said she was gonna leave for like three hours to go work out. So I feel like I'm just trying to do everything that I can in the meantime. But when I was over there going to measure things, she looked at one of the walls and was like, I can't wait to see what you do with this wall. And I was like, yeah, that wall. The one that I told her I would do like a very customized queen lyric thing and didn't. So now I am all hands on deck. I'm trying to get this made and put up. I'm also in the middle of redoing my own balcony, spoilers. So I got a notification that I had some packages. So let's just take a quick break and open these packages. I know I'm not doing the time thing right. Oh, or the exposure thing. I know I don't have time for this, but I do have excitement. <gasps> and that trumps all. Oh yeah! I got fake eucalyptus to put inside little hanging macrame planters. This looks pretty good for, oh, it's dusty as crust. For being so fake, Looks pretty good. That's my Yelp review if I've ever gotten plastic surgery. I think this is just more plants. Oh my God, my nail is inside of this bag. Can you see this? My nail is inside of it. This is now part of my anatomy. Oh my God, gross. Oh my God, I'm picking an Amazon bag out of my hangnail. This is the grossest era of my life. Ew, this is gross. My appetite has gone fully away. But my excitement, still here. I got two of these. That's good to know. Okay, and a secondary box. This one I think I'm excited about because I think it's a projection screen. When I say projection screen, I mean, it's a little thing that projects a starry night sky on the ceiling. I'm 12, but I'm a new age 12. <gasps> oh, nope, and didn't come. That's a thing, so it's not here. We have a remote control outlet, which I thought would be pretty nice. And a big ass fan. This is because all the smoke from my fire pit, second spoiler, gets in my face and I hate it. So I got this. All in all, we didn't get what we were looking for. And that's 
where we have to stay until we find it. Now back to this crazy DIY and finishing a room. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do f to make this queen lyric hanging picture thing, I gotta figure out how big I need to make this, so I'm just gonna use the floor as a guide and see what image would fit in between these dimensions. This is surely not how you do it. I put newspaper ads down 53 inches tall and then 42 inches across so that I could see how much space we were working with. And then when I was looking for something else to cover the area that is going to be the Queen Lyric art piece, I found this old mirror frame that came broken. So I just kept it for, I have no idea what reason, but it ended up being perfect. This is the exact amount of space I want to cover with the piece of art. So, I mean, that worked out pretty good. Okay, my hair's up, my sleeves are rolled. I am ready to get down to business. This is actually pretty exciting because I've done this a lot for myself in terms of making something on Photoshop, printing it out, and then making it art in my home. I know it's not really like art. I mean, it's like snobby art in terms of like, I'm not spending thousands of dollars I don't have to impress people that come over to my house, which is, Never. So now I'm just gonna do the same thing I've always done. Doing it myself. 23 inches wide, 31 inches tall. I'm doing 300 DPI because in yearbook that was good. The dots per inch make it clear. The less you have, the less pixels you have to work with and the more grainy it could get when you blow things up. So if you're blowing something up, I would suggest doing like 600 DPI, but like, I don't want the file to be that big, so we're gonna go 300. Also, you want your color mode to be in CMYK because those are printing colors. If you have RGB, that's just preview for your screen. The colors will differ. It doesn't really matter in this scenario because I'm just doing black. So I guess don't listen to me. Create. So now I'm going to go find the lyrics to Don't Stop Me Now. This is my favorite Queen song, but I also think it's Gabby's. Whenever you're creating something in Photoshop, you want to make sure that you have grids and guides. You want it to be equidistant so that your text isn't choking the side or bleeding off or looks dumb. Mainly that, I'm going to create a bounding box, paste all of the lyrics that I have. It's gonna be ridiculous and gross. And now we're gonna choose our font and basically reformat from here. I want it so that when you look at it, it looks like a book, a big page of words, not a song. Cause usually songs are broken down into stanzas or verses. Um, sorry, I'm a poet. Well then when you look at it up close, then you can see that it's Queen. Honestly, I think a Times New Roman as normal as that is, I think that would be pretty good for something like this because most books are written in Times New Roman. I'm going to, first of all, why do I have a million things open? Why is that my alibi? So I'm just gonna condense all of the lyrics into something that kind of looks like a book. It's like I'm copy editing Freddie Mercury, which is disrespectful, but 2019 and what isn't disrespectful? Now that we have all of our lyrics on here, I took out some of the frivolous la da da da's because me and I need it. And then I'm going to change the kerning just a little bit, making it just a tad breathier. And then I'm also going to bump this up. Oh, that looks great. Maybe I'll make it even more like a book in terms of me putting like a tab in the front. What other things do I hate? I hate that it's not fully flush to the side. So I'll change the paragraph to span the whole way around. Okay, so now I'm just going in and entering different spaces just so that I could look a little bit spacier towards the end. It's almost like a uh, like a casino whenever you put a bunch of coins in and then that little thing is supposed to push the coins out and you're supposed to get, get all the coins. That's basically what I'm doing with text. How fun is this? course. Okay, I think this looks pretty good. Let's get our grid and guys off, get out of here. I'm wondering if I should put a title on the top. I may do that. Don't stop me now. Make that a bit wider. Okay, we got a title on here. I want like a font that's a little bit more grungier. I want a Times New Roman, but grungy. Times Old Roman. Let's see if something is named that. It's not. Okay, so essentially I'm just looking for a serif font that looks a little bit like old book. Ooh, that's good. Not that one. Oh, wait. No, yeah, that one. Linux Libertine. Sounds like a Harry Potter character. It's such a slant change, but I love it so much more than slantly. Okay, Linux. Oh, that's all capitals. Oh, that's a vibe. I don't know if I like it. I like it. Chances some of this has typos because I'm going fast a lot. Pretty good chances. I spent some time and spaced out all of the lyrics so that they looked pretty good. In the very end, I spaced out even more with spaces in between each letter, just so it kind of had like a definitive end. Now I have to proofread and make sure I didn't mess up anywhere. And to do that, I'm going to listen to the song. Don't stop me now. Okay, having this on the floor 
works in our favor because I'm gonna start working on the picture frame and I think I have a frame like this already. You've probably seen this at Urban Outfitters or Pinterest. It's basically two wooden dowels almost and then it's attached by something that, you know, this thing. It's going to be the picture here and then at the bottom, these ones are magnetic. I got this off of Amazon. It's attached by a piece of leather rope. I'm gonna make it out of scrap wood that I have laying around. Oh God. We're all doing okay. If everything goes horribly wrong and I am leaving space for that to happen, not manifesting it, just being real, then I'll probably give her this and then buy a new one off of Amazon. But let's hope it doesn't get to that. I have had better ideas. I was thinking I could probably sand off like two inches of this and that's delusional. Oh God, I'm definitely not feeling great about this. Let's see what happens now. It honestly looks great. Cool. I'm essentially using it as one humongous nail file. I'm making it 21 and a half inches so that when the print that's 21 inches gets put, it has a little bit of breathing room. And that's just phenomenal. My hand is dying. Ah, it feels bad. Next, I have this wood stain that's gotta be three years old. It doesn't seem like there's an expiration date, so we're gonna use it. When I got this from the garage, there was a spider on it. <laughs> and the spider was not alive. So, I mean, we're all finding a home in this. Whoa, this looks scary. Cool! You can't even really see the wood right now because it just looks like it's a part of these good, good deals. I'm just doing like a light layer so it doesn't look too dark. The same exact thing with the second one. This time I'm gonna start on the back because it does get really dark at first and then we'll use the little bit more sparingly. Could there have been an easier way? Absolutely. Are we proud of what we did here and have no regrets? Yeah, so far. Big tip for staying things is cut them first and then stain them because the corners gotta be the same. F drying time, we're just gonna move forward because we don't have time to dry. We only have time to try. Oh my God, I'm full on bleeding. I'm not sure what happened here, but I am fully bleeding. If this was the Food Network, I would be disqualified, but it's this channel, so we're just gonna keep going. So I took the frame that I already had and saw that the string was attached in this little divot and secured by adhesive. I just duplicated the same spacing where the string lands on the original onto my DIY dowel. Made markings and then used a drill bit to make the incisions. I taped it with scotch tape to keep everything in place and that worked out swimmingly. I think this is the first DIY that didn't work out in my favor. I found this YouTube video where it was supposed to make a print into a tapestry. Uh, and this sucks. This is not good whatsoever. I hate it. It's bad and I hate it. And I was thinking like, maybe I could say that it was supposed to be like a weathered book and that got left out at Niagara Falls. It's all around bad and I full circle hate it. Here's the thing, the thing that I did, this thing that I'm in, that I didn't take from anyone else, <laughs> turned out great. The thing that I followed from somebody else uh, was horrible, so I guess I'm only gonna listen to myself now. All in all, I hate it. So let's re-pivot. I am gonna cancel all the rest of my plans because now my to-do list is to feel these feelings, okay. Moving on, Gabby has a bunch of shelves in that room that I'm gonna put up, so I'm gonna find little trinkety things. I'm pivoting to spend money because this is how I wanna deal with this travesty that just happened. I'm gonna go to Target and a place called House of Intuition, which is the most LA thing in LA. It's just, you know, a bunch of crystals and sage and tarot cards and moon calendars, and that's what we're gonna go do now. Maybe we can use one to get over this. Can I have a 10 piece chicken McNuggets meal, please? I would like to see you try and blame me. During my drive to McDonald's, I figured out another plan. So this is what I'm gonna do. Instead of printing out a new book page of Don't Stop Me Now, I'm just gonna go onto the canvas and do black acrylic lettering that says Don't Stop Me Now. It's gonna be more bold, which is that room is already bold. I'm so mad at this girl for making a video on something that doesn't work. <laughs> and no, I'm not pinning it on me. I'm gonna get mad if I don't keep eating these fries. <laughs> I 
like how it still has some texture. Don't stop me now. Cute. Okay, now let's go see the entire room together. Complete with this. It is final decorating day. I am fully equipped with, oh my God, what's this? A version two of hard pass, except for it's a t-shirt and it's oversized and it looks cool and vintage and faded. That's right. That's number one importance. Number two importance is my back seat is full of stuff that I uh, don't really know what I have anymore. I'm on the way to Gabby's. I just stopped by Goodwill and I got a bunch of books. This is something that I've done in so many of my rooms. It's my favorite way to just add a little bit more flair. Gabby wanted one wall to be painted. The accent wall is charcoal gray with a blue undertone, so I got a bunch of books that are blue. Going into a Goodwill or any thrift store with a bunch of books, you look at the bookshelf and you go, this is chaos. But then you start uncovering all of the book covers and you realize they're beautiful hardcover books for 99 cents. I got 12 books for $8.99. Who would have known these beautiful books were under these covers? Unless you're a crazy person and you take them all off in a Goodwill when everyone's looking at you. Second order of operations, we're going to Target to find Table Runner. The table is brown, the chairs are a light tan, which is still in like the brown neutral color range. So I wanted to get a Table Runner to break that up a little bit. And then we should have all of the materials we need to finish this dining room. And if we don't, then I'll figure something out, as I always do. sees this and goes, I got it, put it on a trunk, but you did it. Yeah, I did do that. And you did it well. I've always wanted one of these. And now you have it. Thank you. Don't sit, because oh there's okay. a lit candle. Ah! I almost sat. I can only hand you this. It's like Jenga, but for Harry Potter. There's another little owl. Biggs, you know me. <laughs> you look just like him. I love that you put the triangles together. Honestly, yeah. I think this is the star of the show. What's this? I am a rocket ship on my way to Mars on a collision course. I am a satellite. You guys are young. You I'm out of control. This is amazing. Is this the craft? It was, and it was horrible first, and I hand painted this to make it look good. I'm very much looking forward to seeing the mistake. Actually really fucking love it. There's not a single thing in here that I would be like, can you take that back? I, I love it all. Good. Yeah, it's fucking great. Because I burned the receipts. <laughs>